I know how it feels. You just can't get ahead, trying to put away some money, trying to pay off some bills, but you would like some bump in your system, right? Looking for an amplifier to power your subwoofers. So you get on Amazon, you start scrolling through, looking for a 1200-watt amplifier. You come across the SCAR Audio RP1200.1. It's about $157 right now. That seems like it's a little steep for you. So you keep looking, keep scrolling through, and you come up with the Hyphonics ZXX 1200.1D. That one's $149. Again, price is still a little bit too high for you. You're not sure about Hyphonics if it actually does that rated power. So you keep looking, and then you come across even more, such as this Recoil Audio RED 1200.1, $125. Definitely getting better. And that's looking like the right amount of power that you want. But what about this new brand that you come across? And here we see it, the Ocean Audio OAE 1200.1D monoblock class D amplifier, $89 for 1200 watts. You know we gotta get one of these in and try it out. Now the price at the time of this video release was $89. If it goes up, you guys can't blame me. That means you just either need to be subscribed to my channel or subscribe to me on patreon.com slash old school stereo. We get notified before the video goes to the public. That way you can pick things up that I review that might do well, save you a little bit of money before everybody else gets to see it and raises the price. Okay, end of the public service announcement. Let's get the amplifier out of the box and all the goodies and find out what's included. That's right, owner's manual is up first. And for the 1200.1D as well as the 90.4D, they also have another mono block amplifier available at the time of this video as well. You get a sticker, get some other good stuff. Then you get a little baggie that's got all kind of good stuff. It's got screws, high level inputs, got Allen's keys, got extra fuses, all kind of good stuff. And yes, the world's cheapest bass knob, I think we're on version about six now, is included as well. Just has minimum to maximum. It's all plastic. It does have a telephone style connection on the back though. So it does stay put with the telephone cord you used to call your grandma back in the 1980s. But these days we use it to adjust our base level, the comfort of our seat in the car with a cheap plastic base remote. What do you expect with a cheap amplifier though? Oh yeah, don't eat the silica gel. Back to the lecture at hand, let's check out the amplifier and here it is, the Ocean Audio OAE 1200.1D. Looks like a basic design here of the heatsink, reminds me of SCAR Audio. Not a whole lot going on here, just the black anodized finish. It is aluminum and here is the Ocean Audio logo. Never heard of this brand before. But um, yeah, we're going to take a closer look. OAE 1200.1D, 1200 watt subwoofer amp. We will get to the ratings here shortly. It does say 1200 watts RMS right here on a sticker on the front of the amp. Let's take a look at the one end of the amp. Right off the bat, you'll see the other connection for the telephone style remote bass knob connection. Also a variable bass boost from 0 to 12 dB. That is a fixed frequency, 45 hertz. Also a subsonic filter from 15 to 35 hertz. Low pass filter from 250 down to 50 hertz, and then the level control. Also, we have RCA inputs, we have stereo inputs, it is a mono block amp, and also we have a high level input as well for hooking up directly from your speaker outputs. On the opposite end of the amp, we have the power and protect LED. Power LED is green, protect light is red. We also have ground and 12 volt, those are four gauge. The wires go in straight, but it is an angled screw that goes in, so you will have to strip your wire a little bit longer than normal to get these connected properly. You also have three 40 amp fuses for 120 amps of fusing and 12 gauge single speaker output. So overall, it is an inexpensive amplifier. It looks like with three 40 amp fuses, it has the current capability possibly to do the 1200 watts and even more, but uh, we'll find out when we do the amp dyno test. Here we're going to tease you by taking off the six screws at the bottom of the amp. You know you, we're not going to show you the amp guts right now. We'll show you later in the video, so stick around for those. As for dimensions, 12.8 inches on the long side, 5.6 inches for the width, and the height is a measly 1.9 inches or 49 millimeters. As for ratings, the RMS ratings are 4 ohms 500 watts, 2 ohms 800 watts, 1 ohm 1200 watts, that's right, 
1200 watts for 90 bucks sounds intriguing to me we know what we got to do got to hook it up to the smd demo engineering amplifier dyno find out how much power it does on the left you'll see the power output in watts in the middle the ohm load on the right you'll see the voltage of the dyno we'll also have a remote clamp so that we can calculate the amplifier's efficiency hold on to your butts first up we'll do the four ohm test the amp is rated 500 watts at 14.4 volts We'll run the certified test first. This takes us up to 1% distortion using the 40 hertz track. And yes, 511 right at 14.4, 14.38. So just a couple hundred shy there of the 14.4. Next up, the uncertified test takes us up to the clipping point of the amplifier. And there you go, 523, 14.2. So I'm kind of smiling here as I'm doing this because for the money here, this is looking pretty good. Dynamically, this sends a 40 hertz pulse track into the amplifier. This tests the dynamic capability of the amplifier, 565 right at 14.44. Next up, we'll try two ohms, it's rated 800 watts at 14.4. Again, 40 hertz track for all these tests. Certified first to 1% distortion. There you go, 846 right at 14.42. It makes me wonder if these Ocean Audio people actually have an amp dyno or whoever rated this thing has an amp dyno because I'm getting like literally right at what they rate it. Uncertified to clipping 902 at 14.28. What about dynamically? Can we bust 1000? Let's see. Oh, yes. <laughs> Our voltage is a little bit strong here, but we are over 1000. 1094 at 14.64. All right, here's the one ohm test. Can this $89 amp do 1200 watts certified? Let's find out. Here we go, 40 hertz track. Can we get it, can we get it? Oh, so close. 11.84 at 14.31, but we said, hey, we gotta give it another try. Let's see if we can get that 1200 with another run. So we ran another run back to back, 12.03 at 14.3 golf clap in the background very silent do you hear it ocean audio thank you for rating this honestly uncertified up to clipping we're busting 1300 13.08 at 14.16 now we'll send the dynamic track the burst tone of 40 hertz into the amplifier and oh yes look at this we're closing in on 2000 watts we get 1966, which is a good year for somebody, I'm sure, at 14.67. Now this amp is not rated for anything under one ohm, but we're gonna try the 0.8 just to see what it does. Here we go, certified test first, a 1% distortion. And we still get over 1200, we get 1232 at 14.29. Now we're not gonna do the uncertified test because that would surely pop the fuses. So we're gonna switch straight to the dynamic test and here you go, over 2,000 watts, 2118, can we get any more? 2118 at 14.68. Here are the results, including the 8 ohm test, which I didn't show, also the efficiency numbers, which were from mid 70s to mid 80s here. Also at one ohm and 0.8 ohm, you can see 58 to 62% efficient, so not all that great. But the amp does rated power and it's cheap. But do you want to see tests under 0.8? Watch all the way to the end of the video. I will test it all the way down to a half an ohm. Now we'll get back to taking the bottom plate off the amplifier. We teased you about this before. This time we're actually going to take it off and show you what it looks like. So here we go. Take off the six screws. Cut the two uh, security little strips there. And here it is. Typical Class D amplifier. You can see the rail caps here, 4,700 microfarad, 80 volt. Those are cap tops or cap cops, however you say it. We also have some 160 volt, 100 microfarad. And then on the input side, we have 35 volt, 2200 microfarad. That's kind of a standard for inputs uh, on a lot of class D Chinese Korean style amplifiers. But overall, the amp looks pretty good for what it is. And it looks like on the board, it actually has their model number, so um, that says something. Anyway, pretty impressive here from what I've seen.
Let's talk about the pros and cons, the things I like, the things I think you should be aware of with this amplifier. Obviously, it's inexpensive at the time of the video for 90 bucks, 1200 plus watts, good deal. Has a variable subsonic filter, a variable bass boost, and it does include a bass remote, even though it's the world's cheapest bass remote volume six, it does come with one. Is it low ohm capable? We will find out at the end of the video. Things to consider, power input terminal is not my favorite. It has 12 gauge speaker terminals and there's only one of them. So if you hook up multiple speakers, that's a problem. Cheapo bass remote, but again, it does come with one. It's a new brand, so what about the reliability? Let's pontificate to beautiful ocean sounds. So there you have it, my review of the Ocean Audio 1200.1D Class D monoblock amplifier, which 1200 watts really is about the most you can get out of a standard factory electrical system in most cases. This amplifier did its rate of power and more. I was pretty impressed. If you want to see more tests, make sure you stick around to the very end. This here's my favorite part. As promised, let's try it at 0.67, certified first to 1% distortion. There you go, 1272, 14.23, pulled 170 amps, didn't pop those fuses because we didn't do it very long. Dynamic power at 0.67, well over 2000 watts, almost 2500, 2372, 2381 at 14.58. Now for the 0.5 test, we did not do a certified, we just did dynamic. And here you can see, <laughs> closing in on 3,000 watts, 2842, 14.58. I wanted to show you what the speaker wires actually do. They actually jump because of the amount of current that's flowing through them. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, Big D, I'm out of here.